Parking can be quite challenging. You need to make sure you follow the parking signs. There are three types of parking. Parallel parking, angle parking and centre of the road parking. We'll look at them all in turn. Parallel parking is the usual way to park unless there is a sign that says something else. Parallel parking looks like this. You park completely within the parking bay, in line and close to the kerb. If parking bays are not marked, you must leave one metre between you and the vehicles in front and behind. You should park with your vehicle facing the same direction as the traffic travelling next to where you have parked. You may only park on the side of the road if there is at least three metres between your vehicle and the centre of the road. Make sure you do not block the path of vehicles or pedestrians. Angle parking looks like this. If no angle is indicated on the sign or painted on the road, you should park at a 45 degree angle. In centre of road parking, you must drive into the parking bay forwards and drive out forwards as well. You are not allowed to reverse into or out of these parking spots. It's important that you understand parking signs so you don't cause problems for other drivers and so you don't get any parking fines. Parking signs tell you if you're allowed to park, for how long, at which times and if you need to pay. This sign, with just a P on it, indicates that you are allowed to park here with no time limit. That means you can park for as long as you like. This one shows that you can park for up to one hour to the left of the sign and this one shows you can park for up to two hours. Sometimes parking signs have times and days on them. This means the sign applies during those times. Outside of these times, you can treat the area as though a sign was not there at all. You can park here with no restrictions. So let's have a look at this sign. First of all, it says 2P. Then it says 8.30am to 5pm Monday to Friday and 8.30am to 12 noon on Saturday. So that means that between 8.30am and 5pm on weekdays, Monday through Friday, and also between 8.30am and 12 noon on Saturday, you are allowed to park here for up to two hours. Outside of these times, you are allowed to park here for as long as you like. If there is a parking meter next to your vehicle or in the parking area, you may need to pay to park here. Check instructions on the sign or parking meter. This is a disabled parking sign. You must never park in these parking spots unless you have a valid disabled permit. These signs tell you that you are not allowed to park in these areas. This sign means no parking. You are allowed to stop for up to two minutes in this space as long as you stay within three metres of your vehicle and you are picking up or dropping off passengers or goods. You are not allowed to leave your vehicle here or stay here for more than two minutes. This no stopping sign tells you that you cannot stop at the kerb for any reason or any amount of time. A yellow line painted along the edge of the road means the same as a no stopping sign. The C on this sign stands for clearway. This means you cannot stop here for any reason during the times and days shown on the sign. Clearways help to keep traffic moving quickly during peak times. The sign might also have the words tow away on it or a picture of a tow truck shown. This means your vehicle will be towed away if you park here during the set times. You would then have to pay your parking fine and also another fee to get your car back. There are also special zone signs like this one. It's a loading zone sign. It means only special delivery vehicles, taxis or public passenger vehicles dropping off or picking up passengers are allowed to stop here. A truck zone is just for trucks. A bus zone is just for buses. A taxi zone is just for, you guessed it, taxis. When there's a permit zone sign, you are only allowed to park here if your vehicle displays a valid permit for this zone or area. Work zones are just for vehicles involved in construction work in or near the zone. 
There are a few other things to keep in mind when parking. You are not allowed to park within 20 metres of an intersection with traffic lights, the approach side of a bus stop, tram stop, a children's crossing or a pedestrian crossing. You are not allowed to park within 10 metres of an intersection with no traffic lights, the departure side of a bus stop, pedestrian or children's crossing, both sides of a safety zone or the approach side of traffic lights not at an intersection. You are also not allowed to park within three metres of an Australia Post mailbox or within one metre of a fire hydrant.